hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net core today i'm going to show you getting started with blazor so how to start blazor app uh, in asp.net core visual studio so configure your new project with the blazor app so getting started uh, applications uh, oops that is already available uh, in that uh, in the folder so just change the name of your application if you got that type of error so uh, getting started uh, with blazor so getting started blazer and create applications yeah uh, here we have only one application is there blazer server app and uh, now just create it now after that uh, you have uh, three uh, data that is three directory in your uh, solution explorer one is data and uh, another is pages so just uh, run your applications uh, before going to details uh, here we have uh, five pages in the pages folder like the host.cshtml that is the first page now the second is the counter dots uh, register pages okay so uh, this is the first applications and uh, how to navigate your project so just uh, uh, select your startup.cs file uh, where you can uh, find the route applications okay uh, there is the use endpoints map of all to pages that is the host pages and the ho if you uh, open your host.cs html file then you got uh, the simple html pages okay the namespace is getting started blazor.pages and add tag helper is also asp.netcore.mvc.tag helper layout is null and this is the default layout they are like looking like this this is the head section application is the component in a blazor app uh, we define uh, components so this is uh, this is the demo version or you can say the getting started of the blazor app so just uh, you can check this is the script section of your blazor so blazor.server.js file and uh, after that you can interrupt your uh, javascript file in your with the blazors okay so and this is the index.razor file and counter.razor file in a counter.razor file you you have to check uh, uh, your data the script file is uh, actually uh, counter your applications but the function is there this is the simple button control when on click uh, function is generated on the button click then code is uh, called after click on the button so that's just uh, increment count method uh, call after uh, after uh, we can uh, after we click on the buttons so similarly cur current count and the display property is there similarly the fast data uh, fast data is there and that data uh, is used by using the inject property so at the rate of inject as uh, weather forecast service and weather forecast service is already available in the data section you have to check that is the simple variable name forecast service and you have to check uh, in the code section where uh, we use weather forecast service or you can say the default uh, Microsoft used uh, okay just going to the data section where you have weather forecast and weather forecast services weather forecast is the simple class uh, where we have date temperatures uh, temperature in fahrenheit in celsius in summary also and the weather forecast service is with the static array type summaries where freezings sing chilly cool mild warm that type of service and the get forecast asynchronously with the date time so just uh, scroll down of your uh, fetch data razor pages and check that that services 
the from uh, task dot from result enumerable range one to five select only the five uh, you can select weather for uh, services under the fetch data just uh, going to down if we, here we have own initialize async method where you can use forecast services dot get forecast asynchronously date time dot now with the current date time okay uh, so the single private variable with the array type you can use it here and to display data in that manner so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core blazer uh, later video for subscribe my channel thank you very much